Let's begin by exploring the PDF form 8594. In this form, users enter text into text boxes and make selections using checkboxes. Each of these elements has a specific field name, which can be revealed by enabling form editing, tools, forms, edit layout. Once enabled, you'll be able to see the field names directly on each element. We'll copy all these field names into an Excel sheet for reference. The same approach applies to checkboxes. Their names are structured similarly, with slight variations to distinguish them from text boxes. Now let's look at the Excel sheet linked to the form. You'll notice that columns B and C are hidden. I've copied all the placeholder names from the PDF and placed them into these hidden columns. Here's the logic. Column B contains the field names from the PDF, and it pulls the corresponding values from column D. Similarly, column C holds another set of placeholders, which are linked to values entered in column E. This setup effectively manages key value pairs, with placeholders acting as keys and user inputs as values. It also keeps the layout clean and easy to maintain. As for the checkboxes, they are each linked to a corresponding cell just below them. These linked cells are formatted with white text, so the values are hidden from the user's view while still being accessible for automation purposes. Now let's take a look at the underlying VBA code, which you can find in the module named after the PDF form. We'll go through it side by side with the Excel sheet for better understanding. The code begins by referencing the worksheet that contains the form data. It also requires the name of the PDF form to be filled. This should match the actual file placed in the same folder as the workbook. The script retrieves the path of the active workbook and uses it to build the full path to the source PDF. First, it checks whether the specified PDF exists in the directory. Then, it constructs the output path where the filled PDF will be saved. A PDF object is created and opened using this path. The code identifies the last row in column B to determine how many placeholders it needs to process. It then loops through each row, using the placeholder name from column B to find the matching text box in the PDF, and pulls the corresponding value from column D to populate it. For checkboxes, the code checks if the input is either true or false, and handles those cases separately. The same logic applies to column C and column E. Column C holds another set of placeholder names, while column E contains the corresponding user input. After processing all fields and checkboxes, the script generates a completed copy of the form and saves it in the same folder as the original PDF.